Hello. I have here my Colonial Candle unboxing. I have not opened it. And oh, let's see, it's good times. Nice and heavy. I ordered this um, February 9th and I received it February 24th. So yeah, because apparently we got, someone figured out the online code for 50% off everything and they figured it out before they actually started the sale. So for a while we were worried we weren't going to get it and then they didn't like, I had to email them to find out whether or not they were actually going to, you know, send it and they're like, oh yeah, it's, it'll, it'll be out by Monday and I'm like, okay. So I ordered one Simmer Snap and a bunch of jars. So, Ugh. All right, bubbled, bubbled up. Let's see if this will cut that properly. Lots of yummy noises. This is my first time ordering. I'll get more, <laughs> more tape. Where are you? That was very well taped. Give me that. Alright. And this one is my large jar. My 22 ounce in sweet iced tea. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I like that. I like that very much. I like that very much. I kind of smell almost like a peach iced tea. But that smells like an iced tea that I've actually drunk. Like the McDonald's one, that really strong tea flavor with the sweetness and the lemon. I think I smell mostly tea and then a little bit of lemon. And it's definitely sugary. I like that. I'm very, very happy. <laughs> and my one simmer snap is an old-fashioned lemonade which smells like lemons slightly on the pledge side but not in a super strong way where it would be you know uncomfortable but it'd definitely be one of those things that you would use when you're cleaning because it's closer to lemon pledge than not but I like that. I like the amount that you get for it. And this was four originally, so I got it for two dollars. And then a, apparently a crate o box. Crate o box. Ooh. Other things. That is probably for returns. Yes. And ooh, I got a juicy watermelon. And a 10% off code. I got a mango salsa and a cucumber fresca. Can't smell them. <laughs> but I definitely want to smell those because summer's a coming. It's a coming. Alright. Like so. The rest are eight ounce jars. Some were um, already on sale for seven fifty, and then the others were whatever the regular price is. <laughs> I guess. Well, I guess they'd be what fifteen dollars, seven half of seven fifty. So I got Paris raspberry macaroon. Oh, that smells nice. It's it's very bakery. I smell some raspberry. I'm not sure what else that is. It's 
Is it coconut? I don't, I don't know what the hell that is. It's something. That's helpful in it. This top is not very secure. Like, I mean, I'll just have to burn that right away then, won't I? This is one of the ones that was on sale, I believe. I don't know anymore. This one's mulberry. It's supposed to have, um, I think it just shows blackberries on the picture or something, but online it was a couple of different dark berries. Ooh. I like that. I feel like it's kind of like hard to smell right now. But I think I smell cherries, raspberries, and maybe blackberries. That would be good. Because I remember liking all the berries that went in it. So I'm like, I guess I'll take that one. And everybody says like the 8 ounces are really good for burning. So, And of course I got a blueberry scone because I love blueberries. So I needed to know. It's good. Wonder how close it is to the blueberry scone from Yankee Candle, because I have that one as well. But it's another one that's not very very strong right now. Or else my sniffer's off. It's just totally possible. I definitely like it, and I definitely want to burn it because it does. It smells like a lemon like a lemon muffin. It doesn't have like butter or and it definitely doesn't have any spices which is good because that's what I'm always worried about. And then the final thing in my order is a berry sorbet. I mean look at that. I want to eat that right there. Got pretty wax. It's like super shiny. <laughs> look at that. It smells like Maybe raspberry and strawberry, or just raspberry. It smells like more of a fruity than a, you know, like a sorbet. But it kind of actually kind of smells like grape. I wonder if it has grape in it. Because I'm kind of smelling a grape vibe to it. But I like grape, so I'm perfectly fine with that. So that is my very small two start colonial candle haul and hopefully I will put this up on the internet so that nobody could see it.